What's going on everybody? 392 Blurred Lines coming back at you with another video. Welcome to the channel. I'm not gonna do like everybody else. If this is your first time coming to the channel, be sure to hit that like button, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Man, I'm not doing all that. That's all nonsense. You wanna hit that post notification bell, it's another story because then you'll catch the next video that drops, as soon as it drops. So with all that being said, we back one more time with another video. I've been playing the waiting game. I can't do really too much else with the engine as far as putting the heads on because I'm waiting on head gaskets. We've been waiting on these head gaskets ever since we got the motors. And we're still waiting. But y'all know what time of year it is. Y'all know what situation we're in. So we're all playing the waiting game. I thought I was gonna be out this year I just ordered my intake, and when I ordered it, the day I ordered it was Monday. And estimated ship date, 12, 28 of 21. So, so like I said, we're playing the waiting game. But I did get an opportunity to get my oil pan back, my fabricator in Pennsylvania. I sent it out to him. He got done with it, he sent it back. I haven't even opened it up yet. I have been working on uh, mocking up or fitting my radiator and I will show that to you. But as of right now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna break this box open and um, see how my oil pan came out because I sent him um, uh, some pictures of what I needed done and he sent me a text with a couple pictures as to, is this what you wanted? And from what he showed me, it looked like it's gonna work perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna break this thing open. I'm gonna bust this box open, I'm gonna cut it open. And we're gonna see how it came out. I still have yet to paint it, but I may not paint it. The reason being, I talked with my plant president. I was looking at some parts that came in at the job and they were they went out powder coated. They came back in. I tell you what, they look good. And that color is a color I'd like to have my oil pan powder coated. But the question is, can they powder coat the oil pan without powder coating the inside as well as the mounting surface? So that's something I'll have to get in contact with him about. But he did give me the name of the person at the facility to get in contact with and give them our job name brother discount so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna open up this box and uh see how this oil pan came out i'm pretty surprised myself well i'm pretty pretty uh hyped because i'm i'm, I'm really, i've been waiting on this thing and uh i, I want to get it back i want to get it done so i can get the bottom end buttoned up on on the motor and this was part of the thing I was waiting on was the oil pan. And uh, let's see what we got here. Looks like he sent it back in the same box I shipped it out in. Shout outs to Tori. Whether you happen to happen to locate my channel. Big shout out, brother. Rack and pinion. And 
right here is where I needed the clearance. And so we did a, a fitting with my brother's Kev Copan. And if I could have it from here to here, approximately about a half an inch, I would get the clearance. And so that's exactly what he did. He cut that off. He cut that off because right here is where it was touching. So he cut that off and got my half inch clearance. So now from, from this slip here to the top is that half inch that I needed. That's gonna give me my clearance. And I needed it back four inches. It was approximately about three inches back on the Kevco pan and it was just touching. And so I said, give me one more inch. So he moved it back four inches here to give me that clearance that I needed. So, looks like it came out all right. When I sent it out, it looked very gray. I mean, it was very, 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 very clean looking, but because of no paint or anything being on it, starting to get that little rust look on it. But I may go ahead and take it back to work, send it back through the wheel abrader. And when it comes out, then we'll see if we can't send it to powder coating only if I can keep this mating surface from being powder coated along with down here and down in here. I don't want that to have anything on it. As far as the outside, powder coat the rest. But other than that, it looks pretty good. It looks exactly like what I wanted. Once again, shout out to Tori give his last name, but I probably ought not do that. Unless uh, he says, all right, but I'm not gonna just throw a person's name out there like that. But shout out to you, brother. So now, I talked to him. I talked to him when I was having troubles trying to get this clearance. And uh, he recommend to, um, to lower the front end. And when I say lower the front end, you can adjust the K member. You can add spacers in it to raise the car up, or you can take what spacers in it out to lower the front end. So I had put these spacers in it, trying to get that clearance, and I still couldn't get that clearance. So I was, chatting back and forth with him about it. And um, he said, uh, just send me the pan and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it for you. No problem at all. He said, I'd be glad to do it, free of charge. And I told him, I said, well, you know, I said, brother, I said, you have done, you have done more than enough helping me out. I said, um, I'll tell you what, if, if you want to do my pan for me, let me compensate you for doing it. And uh, so I told him, you know, let me know, because he sent me a text letting me know that it was done. So I, I told him, I said, well, you know, let me know what it's going to cost me, you know, to have you do the work, you know, because the pan cost me $40 just to ship to Pennsylvania. <laughs> I took it down to the post office. They charged me 40 it was like $43 to ship that to Pennsylvania. And uh, so I told him, I said, well, let me compensate you for, for whatever you did, whatever it's going to cost the ship and all of that. He didn't give me no invoice or nothing. So I'm going to send him, bro. I'm going to send the brother a text, let him know I received it. Because I'm sure you know I received it because he puts tracking on everything. And I uh, said, man, what's up with the invoice? How come you ain't sending me a bill? He said, let me know what I owe you so I can pay you. you know, I don't have a problem paying uh, uh, somebody for what they do for me because what the, what the man does is it, is it is a talent. And I tell you, he needs to be compensated for what he does. And that's that's, that's anybody. You know, if I, if I want somebody to do something for me, I'm not looking for anybody to do nothing for me for, for 
free, you're not looking for a handout. If I'm coming to you to do something for me, believe me, I'm gonna pay you for the job. I'm not coming to you and be like, oh man, I'll get you back. No, I wanna, I wanna compensate you for the job because good help is hard to find. Good work is hard to find in today's time. So I'm, I'm gonna get a hold of him and see if he can't send me an invoice. Just, just let me know what I owe you. Just like big shout outs to that brother because that brother, he cool. He, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't never met him. All I've seen is his work. And from looking at his work, that let me know. That's the guy I want to do business with. But I've been rambling. I want to show you where we're at. I will get back to this. But I want to show you where we're at with my radiator. I may have been playing the waiting game, but I haven't been just sitting around doing nothing. So I'm going to show you where I'm at with my radiator. And... Um, See if I can't get that finished up today. As far as my brackets, get those mounted on. I've been doing some work at work on my free time. Doing some work at work, trying to get my stuff done. And uh, I think what I've got so far, is coming out pretty good. So I'm gonna show you where we're at with that. So you hold on for a brief moment and uh, we're gonna see if we can show you where we're at pertaining to the fitting of the radiator. Stick with me, and I'll be right back. All right, all right, we back. All right, as I said, we've been working on this, um, this uh, fitting of this radiator, and um, I'll show you where I'm at right now. Okay, right now, as you can see, Got my four before down there holding it up at the bottom because that's exactly the height that I want it to be sitting. I had to notch out down here at the frame area. There's a little lip. There's a lip here. So I had to notch that lip out to get my clearance. I had these angles down in there just to keep it centered where I wanted it, same distance on each side. So I put that down in there to hold it, to hold it centered. So I notched that out on that side. I also had to notch this one out on this side. I had to notch out a little bit more. I put an angle on it because I need to be able to put the hose on my the bottom of the radiator. So I had to notch this out a little bit further back. My plan, um, I'm gonna run some weld. I will run a be the weld down through here all the way down on both sides so that it does fill that back in to give it that you know that much more sturdiness or stability uh, it's not like I'm gonna twist nothing but I will go back and weld that back all right the first brackets that I made I made them like this I figured well I needed something up top to pull the radiator to, to, to pull it back. So I made these here thinking that this would be an ideal solution. You know, have them come through the front and bolt up and it would tighten up and pull the radiator back toward the radiator mount. And upon doing that, I did it on both sides. Now it it's possible that it could work, but because of being on this side of the bracket, when I would tighten it up, it would pull this away. It would pull this away from the radiator to where it would be on an angle. That's why you see a nut here. And this was to help it. I also had to try to bend this to bring it back to bring it back in to the radiator, to pull it back. I didn't like that concept, so I said, I'm gonna try something different. So what I ended up doing, I made some brackets here up on top. And I took some aluminum and I machined this out, the width of the top of the radiator 
and I tap the holes, which are 38, 38, 16 thread, because I was going to use some cap screws, such as these, to mount it. Upon doing that, I also had to notch out the uh, radiator support because I wanted this to fit down in here like so. So I had notched that out as well. And I made one for the other side. As you can see, this one here is not as wide as this one. Reason being because of the way this car is made. The radiator is perfectly straight, but when it comes to here, there is a difference in the distance. So I went ahead and made this one wider back here as to that one being more narrow. So I made those to pull the radiator back. Now, the reason being that this is gonna be a different concept that's gonna work better than the size is because when I put my holes in, I put them lower. So they will pull the radiator back when I tighten those screws up. And also to give it more, to give it more stability, I made a couple other brackets that I will take and I will put them here and I will weld them both, one on the front and one on the back to give it more uh, stability, a little bit more uh, rigidness. This here, this is removable. I, I made this to where I can remove it. So when I'm putting a, a motor in, it's not as tedious as to, you know, if, if anybody know anything about getting up over the top of something, you'll know what I'm talking about. Because there was a time I didn't have the uh, grill in and putting the motor in was so simple as just going straight through it. So that's why I decided to make this so that it would be removable. But I will be putting another one, putting one on this side as well. And not only in the front, but in the front, but I will also have one in the back. I mean, that two for each side. But I do want that to be sturdy. And they will be welded to this to give me the stability that I need. So that's what we've been working on out here. Now, as far as the bottom, I think the bottom, what I'll do at the bottom, I will be making something pretty much pertaining to something like this that will go across the bottom, sit up in the bottom, or I may do something more simple and just weld me a piece of metal angle iron across here because this is pretty much just about flush with the, um, the frame rail. So if I went across the bottom, I decided to go across the bottom and weld me a bracket here across the bottom. That would be fine, I'm sure. We'll see how that goes. Not exactly sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet. One thing at a time. So as far as the waiting game, I haven't been just sitting around doing nothing. I have been trying to do a little something something because I wanna get this thing done as much as I can get done. And uh, as you know, I'm playing, I'm playing the waiting game. I'm playing, I'm playing the waiting game on parts. I already got my, I already have my time and chain all put on. See, this is another, hold on a second. Since the last time I got with you guys, we had put the cam in. Didn't get an opportunity to show the, the footage of putting the time and chain in. Um, but we did get the time and chain installed. Not only that, but we also 
put a, a degree wheel on it to make sure that we had the right lift with the cam and uh, it worked out pretty good. So we have that put on. Now we're just, just waiting to get our head gaskets and uh, we will be getting our heads put on. And as I said, the intake, I already ordered that. It will be here December 20. Let me take that back. The estimated ship date will be December 28th. And as I said, estimated. So I can't tell you as to when I'll see it. But what I do know, it will come. It will come and we will get it put on. Well, yeah, we will get it put on. I also took a look at some carburetors because that's another thing I got to get. It seemed like it never ends, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, now, the intake. I know it probably got dark because I come over here. The intake, I had to order an intake that's going to match my heads. Um, I was told that I could order one, but after talking with, talking with my wife, and I've been waiting all this time, I've been getting what I want and not settling for anything less. And I said, well, why settle now? So I decided to go ahead and order the same kind of intake that I will be putting on the heads. These are the heads that I will be going with. Yes, yes indeedy, yes indeedy. I will be going with the Trick Flow heads. What other head would you go with with, with a Trick Flow intake? So I had to go with the same kind of head, with the same kind of intake as the heads because I didn't want Mitch Mack. So we're not just sitting around doing nothing. Even though I haven't posted a video in a little while, like I said, I'm not just going just, just, just out of the blue, just make a video, just to put something on. I want, I want you guys to be entertained with something that makes sense. Um, there's been other things that I did. Like I said, I changed the, uh, the, the bar on the front end. I didn't even, I didn't even make that content, you know, was something that I just did quickly and just did it. So I didn't even take a video of that. You know, there's a lot of things that I do that I don't video, and, and that's all right because, it, you know, it, it ain't it ain't it ain't where I gotta pick up this camera and video everything that I do because I'm not I'm not I'm not a, a YouTuber that's monetizing. I got to keep bringing content, or you guys will go away. Once again, this this isn't this isn't for everybody. Everybody don't. They don't care what I'm doing out here. People, people don't care what I'm doing out here. There's a few, a handful that care what I'm doing out here because they're either friends of mine or they have just gotten to the point where, hey, I've been watching this stuff since he started building this thing. I wish I could really say that because there's a lot. If you would have saw what I went through to get this where it is right now, you, you'd be amazed because we're talking about, about nine years of content but I wasn't doing all that bunch of pictures hundreds and hundreds of pictures as to what I was doing but video no so I'm gonna try to pick this camera up just to show you guys what's going on what we doing out here uh, with Operation Dart um, hey it is what it is but um, we are gonna try to get this radiator done today now when I get it finished, I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product because I know it's gonna take me a little while to do what I gotta do. I might I might put some footage on here. I don't know. I might show you what my little welding technique. I ain't no professional welder like like my fabricator in PA, but I can lay a bead. <laughs> so, but 
we gonna come back at you right now. We're gonna shut this thing down and uh, we'll probably come back at you real shortly. I got I got a person coming up. Look at the Audi. Actually, he's considering parting with the Audi. It needs a timing belt. I can put one in it or we can sell it. it don't matter to me. It does not matter to me. One way or the other, it's gotta move. It can't sit there letting grass grow up around it. So, with all that being said, I'm gonna shut this thing down and I'm gonna come back to you a little bit later on. 392 Blurred Lines is coming at you. Peace out. All right, all right, we back for a quick hot minute. Like I said, a quick hot minute. Just showing you guys what I got going on here. This is the brace, the um, radiator support. And I want to reinforce it because it will be putting a little bit of pressure on the um, radiator clamps that I made. And so I'm gonna be reinforcing this with some eighth inch steel. I had to bend it, the contour, heat it up, bend it, the contour of this here, this angle. So I will be putting one in the back, and I will also be putting one in the front, so they'll be sandwiched together, making it nice and firm, nice and, nice and sturdy. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna see if we can put a couple spot wells here, hold this in place, get it flipped around, do the same thing for the other side, and then we'll actually try to, try to lay a couple of beads down along the side. I'm gonna spot this, so you're not gonna see me using a hood yet. So I will be spotting it just, just to hold them in place until I get ready to lay the actual beads. So don't be like, that brother ain't even got a hood on. I'm not looking at the weld either. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that real quick. You got all this noise, I got a fan going, the welder's going, I just turn that fan off so Maybe you can hear me a little better now than as to when I first started. But we're gonna see if we can't get us a couple of spots on this thing. So I had to go out and buy my own welder. So sometimes it be like that. Just simple as that, nothing major. I took that somewhere that had it done, 20 bucks. <laughs> That's how it is. You gotta pay to play. one on the back side here and the other one will go in the front after I take this off. You know what, actually, I'm going to go ahead and put one down here when I have hold of it. Messing around, well, you know that ain't right. I see that color 
no, the camera's not going to catch it. The color that gray. That's the color I was thinking about painting the dark. That's the color right there. I don't know though. Let's see how it goes. I already got a color. So I'll probably just have to uh, go with what I already got. You'd be surprised what color it's going to be. Some of you might already know. Alright, let's see if we got some action here. I'm in the country. Now, come on. Quit, quit playing with me. I'm in the country. I, hey, what bitch? <laughs> yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> work bitch. Show you what I got going on here. Show you what I've been working on here. Show sure what we got going on here. As you can see, I made it so that we can go straight through the holes to line up with the holes in this. In turn, what it's gonna do is pull it back, tightening it up. Now this here, this will not be stationary. This, it'll be stationary once the bolts are in it. But, when this is needed to be moved, these, I'll be able to lift these right out of the way. These are just being put here to tighten down the radiator itself so we'll have bolts that will then go through here and actually what I found out these holes I should have made them a little bit bigger 
I did make them bigger than the tapped hole, but the boat itself still will not fit. So I'm gonna take my Dremel and open that up a little bit so that it will fit. Nothing big, nothing major, no biggie. But that's the concept. And we still have yet the other side to do. But that's how we're gonna do it. That way it is sturdy. Front. And the back. Nice and sturdy. I probably have to end up taking this thing back, taking it to work with me and throwing it in the wheel of braider, get it nice and clean again so yeah, I can put another coat of paint on it. Once again, it's not gonna be black under the hood. It will be until I get the car painted, but until then, it's gonna remain just like this. So we're gonna see if we can't get the other side done and we're gonna keep it moving, all right? All right, all right, we're gonna call that a wrap for today. As you can see, it's getting dark outside. So I've been out here for a grip. We got the majority of it done. Uh, I got my brackets. I got them mounted. I got them where I need them to be. Now, I still have yet the bottom to complete. Uh, I'm gonna jack the car up so I can do that because I want to be able to get down up under it to see exactly where I need to be as to uh, putting mounts on the bottom. But as you can see, we uh, we got her in here. We got her in here and uh, she's sitting just about as level as you can get it. So we did get our brackets put in. I have these bolts that are protruding out. They're more or less just there to make sure that it's lined up, which it is definitely lined up. I cannot complain as to how this turned out. I think it turned out very well. Now, as I specified earlier, I'm sure that I will take it and uh, take it down to the job, which I'll probably do that sometime tomorrow and uh, see if I can't throw it in the willow braider, clean it up again and shoot some more paint on it. But I still have yet the bottom to do. I need to come down here and put me some brackets down at the bottom on each side and uh, that should be a wrap for that. And uh, we're gonna keep it moving. There's other things that I have yet that I have to do. And one of the things I definitely have to do, <laughs> I'm going to, after I get this radiator mounted and get it mocked up to where it's exactly where I want it, then I'll, I'll take it out and I'm going to take my mock-up engine put my oil pan that I just had fabricated. I'll put that on the bottom and I will sit it down in here and make sure I got the clearance that I needed. And uh, we're just gonna keep it moving. Like I said earlier, playing the waiting game. And uh, But in the meantime, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna keep on moving. I'm gonna keep on hammering at this and get all the loose ends buttoned up, tightened up, so that when I do get my parts, when I do get the things that I ordered, then all I gotta do is put them on and I still I still got the goal. Well, it's not gonna happen this year, but what is gonna happen, I'm gonna start this car up this winter. <laughs> I will not be waiting for spring and I uh, hope you guys stick around for that. Um, I would say, I'm just gonna guesstimate my intake come end of December, 
I should have my carburetor by then, alternator, starter, little things like that. I'll have all that stuff. And uh, then it's just a matter of hooking things up and uh, seeing if we can get this thing fired up. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no later, no later January 30th. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't. It may be before then, I don't know. The snow might be waist deep and it might be too cold to come out here in the garage, I don't know. But if we got a good winter, I'm gonna be out here and I'm gonna be trying to get this thing taken care of. So, that note, I'm gonna shut this thing down. I didn't even get to go out in blurred lines today, sitting there all clean. Didn't even get to go in there today, but that's all right because the goal was to, to work on Operation Dart. So that's what I did. And tomorrow, tomorrow, not a whole lot going on Saturday. We did lock in a race. If it don't rain, we do got a race locked in. So uh, we're going to try to get that content and bring it to you. Because... Uh, Hey, we're, we're not going to turn down too much of nothing. But this, this here, this, this ain't me running. Hey, this ain't Operation Dirt running. But I, I know when I get this going, I'm a race. Win, I win. I lose, I lose. One way or another, I built this thing to race, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, what all that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down. I got to go in here. I got to get cleaned up because, uh, I gotta go pick up my daughter. She she had to go to work today. I had to take her to work, drop her off. So we're gonna we're gonna shut this thing down and um we're gonna come back at you a little later on with another video. 392 blur lines coming at you. Peace out.